Hi friends, I'm Lady Lilia and welcome to my desktop. I am doing a different video today. I've been trying to mod my Morrowind game uh, the last few days and I've had some problems with it. I only wanted a couple mods installed and so I've been doing a lot of troubleshooting trying to get them to work well together and I finally figured out how to make it happen and I feel like these, these two mod compilations that I'm going to show you today are really good for just coming back to the game um, for a fresh experience or even if you're just starting Morrowind for the first time but you don't want to play with a really kind of old looking weird game. Uh, not that Morrowind looks weird. I actually really enjoy the vanilla version of Morrowind and how it looks but I wanted a fresh experience for this uh, Morrowind playthrough that I am going to delve into. Uh, so I'm going to show you how to install uh, Morrowind Overhaul, MGSO, and also M Morrowind Rebirth. You can add more mods than this if you want, but I am not going to go into that because it gets more complicated. And this video is going to be more geared towards the people that want to mod their game, but don't want it to be super complicated uh, because it can be complicated. And uh, these are overhaul mods, so they do fight with each other and there's a few things you have to do to get them to work properly. Luckily, these two mods together are not too bad and I feel like it's a good balance of getting a stable game um, having an easy installation process and also having a good amount of changes um, in the game as far as gameplay and uh, visual changes. Okay, so let's get started. The first thing that I did was do a fresh install of Morrowind. I've actually done this a bunch of times, so because I kept getting having issues. Uh, hopefully this time is a charm, right? And everything is gonna go fantastically fine while I'm showing you guys this. So Morrowind is an old game, which means that it was not meant to run uh, for, through Steam. So there is an additional thing you need to do <clears throat> if you're running the game through Steam, which we'll get into later. But uh, I'm using the GOG version. So it is, you know, it doesn't run through the Steam launcher. So it's more like the CD version of the game if you have that, which you can also use. But uh, for this purpose, I will be using the GOG version. So the very first thing you're going to want to do is download all of the required files. I will have them linked below in the description. Uh, Morrowind Overhaul is the first thing you need to grab from the Nexus. And uh, this is the compilation mod of all of the sounds and graphics files. And Morrowind Rebirth is also found here. Don't forget to also grab the patch, which is just an additional ESP file, which you need to plop on top of this. Download all of these manually uh, in case there is an option for the, the launcher version. Uh, don't do that. It doesn't look like there is for these. Also, uh, go ahead and download the code patch. This is actually integrated into the overhaul mod, but it's an older version. So, I would recommend grabbing this newer version as well, and also the MGEXE. Grab the newest version here as well. Uh, I don't know if there will be any problems for you if you just use the Morrowind Overhaul integrated versions, but all you're gonna do is download these separately and then plop them in your, day, your Morrowind folder. So it's not complicated, don't worry. Just, I had some problems, so this is what I'm recommending you do um, for just to get the latest uh, versions of everything. So. Okay, once you have all those files, put them somewhere to easily access. Open up your Morrowind folder, grab the MGSO folder and open that. Uh, extract all of the files into your Morrowind folder, right into the base folder, the beefy part of it, right? Where everything is, where your EXEs are and everything like that. That's where you want all of these files. Okay. I'm gonna have a lot of time to drink my coffee during this because all this transferring files crap takes forever. Okay, once this is in here, um, you will run the installer, MO installer. And we can close this now, we don't need that anymore. Welcome! Welcome to Morrowind Graphics and Sound Overhaul. So this MGSO setup is ingeniously created. It's an integration of many different changes and mods into a very simple and how to install 
thing that basically does almost everything for you aside from you have to choose a few different steps but don't be intimidated by this because it's extremely user friendly and the person that created this is basically a genius so look um, you can read all of this I'm just gonna go quickly through it uh, pause the video if you need to but um, this basically just explains what the prompts we're going to see mean so Morrowind directory UAC is disabled. No, I suggest you disable it. So, okay, good. Disable UAC, which is a Windows option. Uh, you can do it through this button or you can just do UAC. I have Windows 10, by the way, and make sure that it's off. Apparently it thinks mine is on, so I'm gonna have to disable it. Uh, reboot your computer after this step. Okay. So now you're gonna have to reboot. Oh, God damn it. All right, well, we'll be back when my computer reboots. Okay, back. My computer has been restarted and UAC is now disabled, so I hit next. Video cards. Make sure your video card driver is up to date. Very important. Always do that. Uh, if you go to do this, then you're going to have to restart your computer again. Uh, make sure DirectX is to 9.0. The installer will tell you if it is or not. It says it looks like it's accurate, but it might not be accurate, so just make sure anyway. Uh, then you update Visual C++. Hopefully you should be all up to date on this crap. I was, and I didn't have to, you know, I don't download a lot of extra things, so, and I already had everything, so hopefully you are too, but just make sure that you are, because that's important. You don't want any problems, but again, if you have to do this, you'll have to restart your computer again. Hopefully you have an SSD, so it's fast. <laughs> Otherwise, er. All right, another thing to download, make sure you have both the 64 bit version uh, of Net Framework 2 and Net Framework 4. If you don't, you have to restart your computer. Okay, now this is where the actual installation starts or the, f the copying of the files of the mods. So if you want, you can back up your vanilla Morrowind installation. I don't recommend doing this just because it takes longer and I actually had the installer kind of glitch out for me. So, and basically, my take on it is it took very a very short time to download the game again. The game is not huge, so, you know, it's not a big deal if I have to reinstall the game. Extract files. Please wait. This is be, this begins the automated process of the installation, and uh, like I said, it's basically a genius. But right now it's extracting all of the files that it needs for this mod. Um, or this compilation of mods, and it's gonna take a second, so I'll be back once it's done. Woo, that took forever. All right, now it's done. We're on to the next port, 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 part. <laughs> We're on to the next part of the install, which uh, allows you to choose what kind of PC you have. So this kind of changes some of the, the uh, it changes some of the configuration options that uh, the installer will automatically apply depending on what you pick here. Uh, I mean, if you have this kind of computer or this kind of computer, you have an old computer. <laughs> if you have anything modern, pick this one or this one. I'm going to pick the very fast one because that one worked fine for me. Um, I didn't choose, I didn't, I, I mean, I didn't see any difference when I tried this setting, but uh, just because I sort of know what I'm doing with the installation process, I'm gonna pick this one. If you're not sure, but you have a decent PC, pick fast PC. Okay, next. Uh, Mormon automatically registered the needed BSD archives in your Mormon. Any of his pages to inform you about that. You can say flusic, click, I can't speak, I'm sorry. This one, we can just click next. It is just telling us that it changed the any file. Uh, this one, we need to launch the code patch. The Morrowind code patch is one of the files or mods that comes with the Morrowind overhaul. And so just click launch code patch and it will open that exe. Choose your preferred settings and click apply chosen patches. So this is basically, a lot of these are to your taste, whatever you want to enable, but um, at the bottom, the bug fixes are all automatically checked. I recommend you leave all of those checked. Those are important bug fixes. Um, but a lot of these other ones are just optional. I would just leave the ones that are checked, checked. And if there's any optional ones that you want, uh, make sure you read what they do and if you actually need them or not, because some of them are dependent on having mods installed. So make sure you read through them. Um, I usually want extra ring slot and 
Speed fix, like Argonian clothing choice. Uh, let's see what other ones. Allow stealing from KO to NPCs. That's good, that's good. Hidden traps is very interesting. I was really tempted to install this one. Uh, it doesn't tell you when things are trapped in the game. I thought that would be kind of fun, but I think I'm gonna leave that off for now. That could be fun as well. Um, if you have extremely loud noises in your game, I've never run into this, but apparently this is a common issue. This apparently fixes or tries, tries to fix that issue. There's some problem that some people have where all of a sudden like certain sound effects in the game are extremely loud for whatever reason and then they go back to being quiet. Um, if you have that problem, there's a fix for you there. These are mod related features, so these you need to really be careful. Um, Interface changes. Uh, this is only for Tamriel Rebuilt, which we're not installing today. And if you want to install Tamriel Rebuilt as well, you're going to have to look at a different guide. There's a couple things that you need to do additionally for Tamriel Rebuilt. But if you are just looking for a simple, you know, new experience, I definitely think that the Morrowind Overhaul and Morrowind Rebirth are probably the best way to go for stability. Which this guide will show you. All right, um, I am going to do the UI quality fix and shortcut key improvements and unrestricted menu size, larger menus, um, sure, more accurate item weight, which is just, you know, preferencing journal text color. And that is it. These things are not needed and everything else is gameplay stuff. This is another interesting one too, if you want to be able to cast like you can in Oblivion without readying the uh, the casting stance that's like this <laughs> or whatever in Morrowind. You can do that and then you can also use the stance as well with M, but I'm gonna do the vanilla, the vanilla way. Apply chosen patches when you're done and it will patch everything that's needed. Next, launch this, okay? It's gonna do all this manually, hands off, don't touch anything. That's a lot of this installation process. So it's really cool that it automates everything for you, which is why I highly recommend this installer. Launch EXE optimizer. It will be launched. Please follow the instructions on screen. Okay, we're just gonna do hands off again until it asks us to do something here. Please close this pop-up and choose your Morrowind installation folder. Okay, let's go through that. It is on H, it is in games, Morrowind, there we go. Okay, hands off again. I think, yep, there it goes, decompiling. It's actually behind my face. Oops, hang on, oh God. There you go, there you go, there it is. Sorry about that, friends. It was behind my face. It's decompiling, it's gonna take a minute. Okay, now that that's done, launch MSG O options. This is important. Okay. Okay, sorry for any confusion. I just realized my face cam was covering a bunch of stuff, so blah. I'm not very good at making these videos. This is like the first how-to video I've ever made, so I'm sorry if there's any weirdness, guys. Um, anyways, the Morrowind options are important to note because there's, this is where you have to change some things uh, in order for Rebirth to work with this mod, so pay attention. You will need to set the Ascadian Isles, the Ashlands, the Grayslands, the Bitter Coast, the West Gash, and Grass in Vardenfell, in Vardenfell to custom mod. Change all those to custom mod. You can leave trees on Soul Time and Mournhold as it's checked by default. You can ch check simple trees if you'd rather have the simple trees, but um, these are fine. Uh, just make sure that all the rest of these uh, regions are set to custom mod and then on soul time you want no grass another thing you want to make sure is unchecked is animated Morrowind so Morrowind Rebirth adds a lot of uh, similar things like this to the game so animated Morrowind is not compatible with with uh, Morrowind Rebirth and so make sure you leave that off or you could have a lot of issues um, everything else is fine to do whatever you want with I have decided to select magic sorting icons because I think that's neat. And I'm leaving the armors on uh, detailed and reflecting. 
By the way, the different colors of the text just means how heavy it will impact your system. This kind of thing is not so much and you shouldn't need to worry about it unless you have, you know, borderline bad PC. So just play around with it and uh, see which one works for you. I'm gonna leave the crosshair and the user interface on vanilla because I might be installing a um, UI mod, but you can definitely use the dark UI or the different crosshairs if you like. Improved heads I'm leaving on. Realistic darkness is awesome, which is a new lighting system and it's really good. It makes dungeons a lot darker and more amazing. I definitely recommend it, especially if you're going for an immersive game. Uh, you can choose the nude better bodies if you want, but I'm going for the underwear because, you know, mainly because I'm recording. Otherwise, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I just, I choose the underwear version, obviously. I mean, come on, guys. Uh, Shimmer for magic items is fine. Second tab is actually for the graphics extender. Uh, this is what is recommended. I also recommend that you leave it on the default setting unless you're having issues with the default setting. You can choose a little bit lower settings or you can turn it off. But uh, definitely try leaving it on this and see if it's good for you. Apply. I'm done, bro. I'm not sure if it's going to close. There it goes. Okay, so you just have to wait a second. Uh, and then this is all hands off. Let it do its thing here. All right, launch the Morrowind launcher is the next thing we do, which just opens this. It's going to do all this by itself, hands off. There we go. Next is how to disable the Steam overlay. This only applies if you're running the Steam version of the game. So if you click on this, uh, handy dandy link. It is going to tell you how to how to uh, disable your Steam overlay. I'm not going to go through that because I'm not using the Steam version, but feel free to do that if you are using the Steam version. Next. All right, it's going to run this the load order thingamadinger. It does all this by itself, hands off again. Closed it. Okay, next we run the four gigabyte patch. Again, does all this by itself, hands off. All right, info on your overhaul installation. Hit next. Morrowind Graphics Center is a program that can enhance a lot of graphics in the game, and as you can imagine, this means that the game will be heavier for your computer. The installer automatically tweaked the options to make it run as smooth as possible. So if you remember in the beginning of the installation process when it asked us how awesome our computer was, this is where this applies. But I am going to hit manual. You don't have to. You can leave it with the recommended settings. But I am going to click manual. And I'll just show you guys all the options and the things that I choose to change in case you would like to do the same. Uh... Okay, here we go. So, gra gr global graphics and rendering. You can change the ch or turn the FPS counter off, which is probably something you want to do, especially if you're going for immersion. You don't want an FPS counter in the upper left of your corner, do you? Nah, nah, or the upper left corner of your screen, anyways. <laughs> the I've had so much coffee today. That's why I'm talking so fast. I apologize. All right, and then if you go to the shaders, I am also going to turn off depth of field. Mainly because I'm going to be recording the game and depth of field makes the game very blurry. Uh, makes everything else blurry besides the thing you're looking directly at, if you know what depth of field does. So it, it tries to, you know, imitate real life as if you're looking at something, everything else around your point of vision blurs. Like, you know, it, it simulates that. But it does make everything blurry and there is a period of time where you have to wait to focus on something. And I find it slightly annoying. It's not like the best depth of field ever. It's, it, it, it could be better. However, I'm not complaining because it's Moro. It's depth of field in Morrowind, right? So if you want that, it does look nice. If you want to play with that, go for it. It makes for beautiful screenshots as well uh, if you're going for that. But since I'm recording the game, I'm going to turn it off. You can also, uh, if you have a really shitty computer, you can turn these on. You can also disable shaders altogether, although that's like all of these options. So none of this will really apply if you turn off the shaders. Um, other than that, you can tweak this stuff. I recommend leaving it alone though, just so you don't get messed up stuff. Uh, I did try tweaking the draw distance because I did think that I might want to move it down a little bit to be more like a vanilla experience where I can't see very far in the distance. However, I tried playing with it a little bit at the default and I didn't think it was too bad, but if you really want to, you can bring this down more, but um, 
the default in the vanilla game, by the way, I think is one, and this is on 20. So you can actually crank it up more, but if you crank it up more, it really starts to eat away at your PC's resources. So be very careful. I would say if anything, leave it here or put it down, but probably your best bet is to leave it. Um, okay. And so that's all I'm going to change there. I'm going to hit okay. And I guess that's it. Next. Finish. You are near the end. The last thing you do is to configure MG. Don't worry. The install it will do it for you. All right. Let's run that. Are you sure you want to use your user defined settings? Yes. That popped up because I changed the previous thing. All right. So this is all hands off as well, except for this. Choose your close this and then choose your resolution. So let's choose our resolution. I'm using 1920 by 1080 and then hit OK. Back to hands off. Oh, no. Now we choose. It's supposed to tell me something here, I think. There we go. Select here the folder where you'd like to save your screenshots. I am just going to save them to my desktop. OK. And there we go. Hands off again. It's going to do all of this for us, which is really great. I tried to install the graphics extender, which is what program it's running right now. Uh, separately the first time when I tried to mod Morrowind and I just broke everything. So when I saw that this was integrated in MGSO, I was so happy that I did not have to make any of these decisions. It's going to take a little while, so let's just have another sip of coffee, shall we? All right, it's done. I had a little pop up really quickly there. If you saw it, that said there was 14 errors. Don't worry about that. It, it's not anything to worry about. Congratulations, Morrowind Overhaul Sounds and Graphics was successfully installed. You can now play without problems, which may or may not be true, by the way. Uh, so don't take that to heart. Okay, so now we're done with that. We've got MGSO installed. The next thing that we need to do is actually remove some files. So since we're going to be playing with Rebirth, there is some important uh, files that clash with Rebirth that we need to take out of our data folder. Now you can't, you have the option to remove them completely, which I am going to do, or you can uh, just uncheck them from your load order when you, when you run the game. But I feel like the game does tend to recheck things when I run the game sometimes, especially when I have a lot of mods installed. So I feel like it's safer to just remove them all together. So the ones we want to to remove are actually, I put them in here so I'd remember what they were. These are the four files. These are located in your data folder. The first one is called the Morrowind patch. Morrowind patch 1.65 beta. We get rid of, oh, actually, let's just delete. Let's just delete them. Uh, delete. If you want to put them in a separate folder like I've done, then please do so if you don't feel comfortable deleting them, but I already have them here, so I'm just gonna delete them. Poorly placed object fix, texture fix 2.0, and windowsglow.esp. So once you have removed those, that should be good. The next thing that we're gonna do is install Rebirth. And to install Rebirth, all you do is open it up, take all of these files, drop them in your data, or sorry, drop them uh, in your main file folder, just like we did with the other mod. And if, when it asks you to overwrite stuff, say no. Okay, replace or skip files. Skip these files or do not overwrite. There we go. I didn't mess around with these optional files, um, so I'm just gonna leave everything as it is because I want everything to work properly. So that's fine, we can close that. Uh, we did download a patch, if you recall, for Morrowind Rebirth, so we're going to apply that now. This is the, oh sorry, that's the, that's the other one. 4.43, the one we that we just installed was uh, 4.41. So this is just an ESP file. So what you can do is find the ESP file here that we're going to replace, which I believe is this. Do we need to delete all of them? I hope not. I think we just need to delete this and then move this here. 
There you go. Hopefully these are fine. I actually didn't, if there, I'll look this up and if there is a change, I'll, I'll splice it in there, but I think that's fine. Okay, and then Morrowind Rebirth is totally installed. Okay, now that we're done, uh, there's a couple things we need to do before running the game. And one of the things is the code patch that comes with MGSO is actually an older version of the code patch. However, uh, after the setup runs initially, you don't have to use MG MGSO anymore to, do, to run the code patch. Uh, in fact, you can download and install the updated version, which is what I had you install at the beginning of the, or download at the beginning of the video. So just drag all these files. Um, this is optional, by the way, you don't have to do this, but there's a couple additional patches in the new version that don't exist in the version that comes with MGSO. So just to make my life easier, I'm going to update it and then I'm going to run it. So the new version looks a bit different. It has some additional, um, patches that you might want to read through and see if you want to apply. I'm going to do so now. Okay, once you've got everything you want selected, hit apply chosen patches. Patch successful. Okay, then we can close that. Another thing that I am going to do is I'm going to update the Morrowind graphics extender and I'm going to rerun uh, everything since after I installed more uh, Rebirth. And I don't think that you have to do this, but again, the version of MGE that comes with MGSO is not updated all the way, and this is a newer version. So I am going to rerun it, in fact, by clicking the MGSO options. This does work with MGSO, unlike the code patch. So let's just go back into here. If you click the options EXE instead of the installer EXE, it lets you do this. Uh, and change options that you may have set during the installation process. So I would like to change the MGE settings. Uh, would you like to use them or do you, uh, yes, I would like to use them. Okay, so I'm gonna make sure all my settings are still set. Depth of field off. Yes, yes, and FPS is off. Okay, hit okay. And it should go through the process here again. Distant land is not being created. All right, so now I am using the updated version, which is 9.10. I think 9.9 .9 is the version that comes with MGSO. So we're gonna do this again. Um, also, I feel like it's a, probably a good idea to do it anyway because I did add Rebirth and I don't know how many uh, new files or places outside, any distant land things that might've been added um, could be could could be useful if we run the distant land generator again. So I'm gonna let this run again. This is all automated. It's going to check the Morrowind Rebirth files and add them in there. And I'm going to wait. All right, it is done. So it closed on its own. Uh, this is all fine. If you ever want to change anything, you can go in here to change everything, but don't use the code patch settings from here. You run that normally because I did find out after updating the code patch that when I try and run it through MGSO, um, it, it freezes and doesn't work. So if you have that happen to you, just run it manually through the folder EXE. Everything else is good. Uh, next thing that we're going to do is run the game and see if everything works properly. I did already make a save. So if we run the launcher, we should be able to go to data files and see all of this. This is important though. We're gonna wanna check the, f the files for Morrowind Rebirth and make sure they're turned on. Um, this is a file from the update of MGEXE that gives you different skies. If you want that, turn that on. I'm gonna turn it on. And click all of the rebirth options. Okay. Now, if we play, it should work. Hopefully. <laughs> all right, loading. Initializing data. Morrowind. Let's load my test. All right, looks like I have a problem. Active movie window. Okay, so here we are in the game. Everything seems to be working fine. Um, I did have a problem though, if you saw that. 
previously, I had an action window movie or something pop up that kept minimizing my game. And after a lot of troubleshooting, I actually found out that it was a codec causing the issue. So if you have anything weird happen like that, uh, try uninstalling some of your codecs. For me, it was the div X codec. So, uh, you know, I, I initially thought that it was the game or the mod, but no, it was actually some other program being weird. So keep that in mind and try that if you have any problems like that. So, uh, but yeah, Fargoth. Hey, Fargoth, what's going on, man? Everything looks freaking awesome. It's beautiful and gorgeous. The frame rate's not too shabby. I think it's a little below 60 right now, but it's fine. It's not, you know, it's not very noticeably below 60. Uh, and if you have performance issues with the settings you chose, you can always rerun the MGSO settings or the MG. E settings. Ooh, I had a little bit of a leg spike there. Uh, and tweak that and see if uh, FPS improves for you. But yeah, Morrowind Rebirth is definitely turned on because I have all these extra buildings and such. This tower is a good, uh, a good thing to be able to tell if you have it on. And yeah, that's it. That's how you install Rebirth and. MGSO together to get your game to look fantabulous just like this or even better. Uh, you can add some mods on top of this if you want to add like a UI mod. You can definitely do that, but make sure you install it afterwards. And I, if you're going to install anything like that, I probably would recommend using like um, a mod manager so you can remove it safely. But you definitely don't want to use the mod manager to install uh, these two mods that we did the walkthrough for. Definitely not. You need to install those manually. And uh, okay, that's it guys. Hopefully this helped you out and hopefully you can get your game to work. It took me uh, four or five attempts to get this working properly, so hopefully my pain will ease your suffering. <laughs> Hopefully you get your game to work nicely and everything is beautiful for you. Thank you so much for joining me for this interesting video. I had fun making it. I hope it's helpful to you. hope you enjoyed watching. If you want more like this, let me know in the comments below. And if you're interested in watching a Morrowind playthrough, I'm going to be starting it up very shortly with uh, these very mods installed. So thank you so much, guys. I'll see you soon for another video.